How are you? Good, good to see you. So, um, if Beale Street Can Talk, we know is based off of a novel, what was most important for you to pull from your character from that novel? Uh, it was most important for me to pull from the, the novel um, the kind of man that Joseph Rivers is, the kind of father he is, which is a father that I don't think we've seen a lot in cinema. He is an African-American man who is holding a lot of, just a lot of love in the family and joy and good humor and good nature, but he's also willing to do the things that may not, um, because the systems are set up for him not to thrive, sometimes he has to go outside of the systems to provide for his family. So I like the idea of um, playing this man and who I think is a feminist, who's a, a blue collar worker. He's really complex and interesting to me. So I was so happy to give, give over everything that I know about these men um, that I have never seen depicted before, especially a man for, um, who lives in the inner city. And I know you also are in a lot of Broadway shows. What is the dynamic like between Broadway and film? Do you approach those differently? Hmm, interesting. Um, you know what? I guess I, I don't. I know that I have a bit more of a... I think because I've been doing such a string of films for the last, you know, maybe five or six years, I know that I've become a bit more of a subtler performer because I think, and, and, and maybe trusting of more nuance and camera work. Um, you know, I'm very theatrical um, as, a, as, a, as a Broadway performer as well because I've always played out, outsized roles as well. You know, I've always played interesting characters that, you know, had to reach a 1500, you know, seat <laughs> theater. But now I get to actually do things a bit more uh, delicate and nuanced. And so I realized that even as a writer, and as a director in the theater, whenever I go back, I'm asking for things to be a bit more delicate and subtle. Um, and I realize that that's part of my, my film work that's now creeping into my theater work. They're influencing each other. I think so. To be able to, I want to, I, I think I know that I'm always asking in my plays, when I go to around the country and see one of my plays being performed, I'm asking for, for people to look at some of the silences and the, and, the, and, the things, and the nuance of things that are not on the page that I think are actually really delicious for actors and for directors as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.